Michael Farrar from D-Sport Magazine. Now the question today is, are you ready for your new aluminum upgraded radiator? Well, to prepare for that, you wanna make sure you get all of the rust and other stuff that's in your system out of there. And in the past, if you had a copper radiator and you were putting in a copper radiator, they were pretty tolerant of all the different harsh chemicals you can use to flush out your engine and radiator. But if you have an aluminum radiator or you're gonna be putting in an aluminum radiator, you wanna use something that is not gonna attack the metal. We've had great results in the past with getting rust off of anything with Evaporust. Now for your cooling system, Evaporust makes this product called Thermocure, which basically uses the same process of chelation, taking all the rust that's in the system and making it flake off. It's pretty simple to use. You drain out the coolant from the radiator, put the Thermocure in there with some water, and the longer you leave it in there, the better. You could do it in three to four hours of just driving around, or you could leave it in there for a week, which is what we're gonna do. The more temperature and pressure that it's under in there, the more action that's gonna happen. And what'll happen is we're gonna see exactly how much rust we can get out of this before we put on our brand new radiator. The advantage of getting rid of all this rust from our cooling system, rust is basically an insulator. And we don't want an insulator inside the system. We wanna get the heat out of the engine, through the radiator, and to the environment where it belongs. So, the way that we do it here is get rid of the rust and we're gonna get better cooling from there. Welcome back, we're here again with Project Starion and right now what we're gonna be doing is, it's been in there about a week, we've run the car, taken it to lunch a few times and stuff, so we're not driving it daily, that would be the best, but we did get a few hours of actual, you know, at operating temperature, moving around in the system, and that's when Thermocure is gonna work best. The more heat and pressure it's under, the more rust it's gonna be able to convert. Now, if you've ever used evapo rust before, you know what we're kind of expecting to see is anything that was rust is gonna be turning to a black color. Evapo rust recommends that you at least do a, a conventional flush on at least two times. A back flush kit's even a better way to do it to really make sure you get all the stuff out of there. It's not gonna hurt it if it's in there, but you are gonna flush all of the rust out that could be clogging some different you know, portions of the cooling system inside. So you wanna kinda of get out as much as you can. Now, evapo rust isn't designed to remove the calcium buildup and the hard water deposits and stuff that you might have inside. It's not actually designed to do that, but it will do a good deal of that also. If you have a lot of calcium deposits in there, you may want to consider following up with a conventional, what is it, sodium citrate or something like that type based cleaner that'll go through and take those out for you. And right now, we're gonna jack the car up, pull the lower radiator hose, drain out what's in there, uh, fill it again with some just some regular water, uh, let it run through again, drop that out, and then we're actually gonna even back flush the system to really, really, really get it cleaned out of anything that's in there. So we just finished draining out our Thermocure and water mixture that we had in there for about a week. And uh, if you look at it, it is some pretty black, yucky stuff. We're gonna basically rinse it out a few more times and try to get this all out, and we'll see how it cleans up from there. What we like about the uh, Thermocure from Evaporust, the advantage it has is you're using something that's not caustic. It's gonna go in there and without uh, doing damage to anything, it's gonna help kinda claw away at all that uh, rust that's in the system, uh, both in the radiator and in the engine block and in your heater core and let that get flushed out. So now we have a situation here, we could probably uh, the performance of this radiator might have been improved enough where we don't even need to upgrade it, but since we are gonna be upgrading it, now we've got a fresh cooling system uh, that's rust-free, uh, it's calcium-free, and basically ready to get a new high-performance radiator installed. 